What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today was a pretty huge day because we got the first ever look at actual Call of Duty Modern Warfare multiplayer gameplay. Now what you see on screen was from a live stream event hosted by Activision where they flew out a couple of content creators to play and showcase the game. And the gameplay you're watching is from Optic TP. He's one of the best Call of Duty players in history and in my opinion the best Blackout Battle Royale player currently. Definitely go check out his Twitch stream, it's going to be linked down below in the description. Unfortunately I was not able to play the game like a few other content creators did when they got flown out a couple months ago. But for what it's worth, I'd like to offer up my opinions on the game so far as a fan of Call of Duty for going on 9 years now. And so yeah, let's get right into it. Now the gameplay you're watching is from a competitive game mode called Gunfight, which I guess I should mention before we go any further, this is not how Call of Duty Modern Warfare multiplayer is going to look exactly. Again, this footage is from a game mode that literally has been redesigned from the ground up and even had maps built for it specifically. So this no minimap, no health regeneration, um, no create a class is not universal to the entire multiplayer. Again, Gunfight is just a part of the competitive game mode. But Gunfight actually looks pretty freaking awesome because for one, the game itself has a system that creates its own brackets for tournament play. So you can compete with your teammate against another team and fight through the brackets. Um, I'm not sure what the reward is going to be if there is any for winning a gunfight tournament. I'm sure there is going to be something though or else it's kind of pointless to have a tournament that doesn't really have a nice prize at the very end. But yeah, gunfight looks pretty cool and definitely very, very unique. At the very start of the game, the system does generate a random class for all players to use with the same lethals and tacticals, primary and secondary weapons, and then after every two rounds, the system generates another class for players to use and all players do get one life every round. It goes up to six rounds and you really have to plan out your strategies, communication is key, and you really do have to think about your every single move. Again guys, this is not how the multiplayer is gonna look exactly. Joe Seacott even replied to one of my buddies on Twitter, COD247 tweets asking if we were gonna be getting traditional multiplayer. Because I will admit, when I first watched the streams, I was thinking, man, this doesn't really look like Call of Duty anymore. But Joe Seacott reassured us and said the game definitely has traditional multiplayer and that this was just a taste. As for the maps, there are a total of three that were shown today. And they are King, which is set in the interior of a warehouse, Pine, which is in the exterior of a dense forest, and Stack, which is a desert container yard. And this is not confirmed, but I'm pretty sure that there will also be nighttime themes of each map because in one of the gameplays, we can see that they are playing on King in the daytime. So I'm sure there's also going to be a nighttime theme version of each map, which is pretty awesome and something that fans have wanted for a very long time now. Also, there is a different variant of the gunfight mode where it's essentially a battle royale style where you have to search for loot to win the game. But not much is known besides that though I did find this screenshot where we can see a weapon that's outlined in red so I don't know if this is like some sort of a rarity system for the better weapons in the game or maybe this is just the way for players to find the weapons easier I don't know but yeah, apparently there is also going to be other gunfight variants to uh, add a little bit more fun and flair into the game. So like maybe like a knife only gunfight or a pistol only or a sniper's only. So I think that's pretty fun and like I said, definitely is going to add more flair to the competitive game mode. The final thing I like to mention about the multiplayer are the sick execution animations. Like here, we can see Courage shove a dagger through the neck of Legion. Like this was so badass when it happened on stream. And and I know it's something small, there's other video games that do have these execution animations, but still for Call of Duty to have this, it, it just goes a long way. It does look more fun than, you know, just the regular basic, you know, shooting somebody or just stabbing them. Um, pretty cool in my opinion. And then lastly here, I'd like to mention that there is going to be another Modern Warfare multiplayer gameplay reveal, and that's going to be coming on August the 1st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Call of Duty's Twitch channels. And and before then though, I'm fairly certain that there's going to be a lot of content creators flying out to playtest Modern Warfare one last time before the official gameplay reveal. 
and then definitely on that same day is going to be when players or content creators can uh, upload gameplay and talk about their um, time at Infinity Ward when they played Modern Warfare. So um, these next few weeks here, guys, are going to be huge for Modern Warfare. Definitely am very, very excited. But for right now, I want to talk about the gameplay itself. Um, because at the very start of the stream, there were a lot of players that were saying, this really doesn't look like Call of Duty, it looks stupid, it looks like Counter-Strike 2 or Rainbow Six Siege 2, I don't know, there was a lot of complaints initially when the first uh, stream was going on, but, you know, this was just the game mode. I've asked players who have played the game already, and they all have said that it still plays and feels like Call of Duty, it's just more of a tactical shooter now, instead of just like, oh, Oh, let me just rush into this other team here and shove my shit into their face. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get one kill or my teammates can get the trades. Um, so, yeah, it's more tactical. You have to methodically think about your moves. Um, some positives that I did like. One was the player plus map interaction, such as you can mount your weapon on things like rocks, barricades, or windows. And you do this by pressing the L1 button. The advantage to this is you can decrease the recoil on the weapon. However, you do take the risk of being completely immobile because you're not going to be able to move left to right or possibly jump and turn on someone super fast because your weapon is being braced by the ledge, window, or whatever object you selected. Um, the weapons look beautiful aesthetically. Some of my favorite weapons from the Modern Warfare universe are making a return like the AUG, the MP5, the MP7. Um, there's even an image going around of somebody using a riot shield too. Graphics look really clean in general. Um, but for some negatives, definitely the motion blur. Luckily, we are able to turn that stuff off. I just don't know why it's even in Call of Duty because most players do turn it off. Personally, I just don't see a need for that in any video game, but that's just me. Besides that, though, I cannot really say much else. I think the game looks solid right now. I'm not going to say anything more besides that because obviously, you know, I haven't played the game yet. It, it just looks decent. Definitely very promising for sure. Hopefully there is going to be a beta come like in August or September, but no information on that has been revealed to us just yet. I do feel we are going to be getting one though, um, but hopefully they do make that an announcement because I really want to get my hands on the game. Like I want to be able to say more about Modern Warfare, but I can because I haven't played the game. This is just from watching the gameplay. And like I said, it just looks promising. Those are my thoughts, guys. Please tell me yours down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Till next time, I'll see you later.